What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I was wanting to go over the top five baits that I like to use whenever I'm fishing in muddy water. It doesn't matter if it was sunny or overcast or if it just is a natural muddy lake or river or if it was flooding. You could have had wind that created the mud lines or just all kinds of stuff that could have made that muddy water situation. But these baits are basically my go-tos whenever that water is really muddy. And my first one, is one of my favorites and that's the chatterbait. And chatterbait is such an awesome bait. You can make the profile bigger by adding plastic trailers to the back end. The amount of vibration, it doesn't have a lot of shine to it, but the vibration that those things put off is just awesome. They work great in grass, so if you're tossing them up shallow and pulling them out of grass lines in that muddy water, or even if you're pulling them across brush piles or a little bit deeper, Chatterbaits can get the job done and you can make the profile a lot bigger to put off a little bit more vibration Especially if you're adding those paddle tail swim baits to the back of them So definitely use a chatterbait whenever you're out there fishing that muddy water and the second one has got to be a spinnerbait if you're gonna follow up anything especially like a chatterbait and it's, let's say you got a lot of stick ups You're not gonna want a chatterbait in that situation. Of course you have lots of good vibration, but those those blades on those spinner baits can put off a lot of vibration too. I don't fish a Colorado blade or a Indiana blade a whole lot. I pretty much stick to the willow blades, but the amount of shine that those can put off, whether it's a silver or a gold blade, you can even get the, the bigger spinner baits that actually have up to four blades on them. I fished and made, caught some good fish with some of those before, but a spinnerbait in those stick ups, in the brush, in some of that other stuff are awesome ways to go after those fish, especially if they're up shallow and you're pulling it out over that deeper water or pulling it right by a stick up. Definitely give a spinnerbait a shot. The third one is a square bill. And I learned this one one of the most memorable times whenever I was out there fishing a pond. I was actually walking the bank and I found a bandit little bitty square, square bill on the bank. Never used a bandit. But now I know what they're capable of. I love square bills now. And it was a shallow pond with a lot of little ledges in it with some rock little piles down through there. And I was tossing it out through there. It was about six foot deep, five, six foot. And I was catching good size four or five bat, pound bass just on a regular, regular basis. I probably caught at least 10 that day. And I would never forgot since that day about that. And I've gone back into channels and other places where there's little lay downs and other stuff where you can toss it back in that shallow stuff and be cranking along and that square bill will dive right down in the bottom and hit bottom and the reaction strike that's caused from those bass whenever it comes back through there. Those bass will just chomp on them. So definitely a square bill is one of the best ways to go out there and catch one. Whenever you're back there in those creeks and it, even on main lake or back those little channels, definitely give a square bill a shot. And the fourth one has got to be a football jig. I love football jigs. I catch a ton of fish on football jigs whenever I'm fishing them up shallow, especially around rock piles or places that are known for a lot of crawfish. You definitely want to give one a shot. That muddy water situation, those fish will want to be more shallow than they are in other places because the water is typically warmer in those muddy water areas. So those fish will actually go up more shallow and stay more shallow throughout the year. So definitely a football jig. I know there's been a couple of times where I've thrown a football jig up into inches of water in the winter when it was 30 degrees and caught good sized bass doing that because those bass want to be more shallow that time of the year in muddy water like that. So it's just worth a shot and football jigs are known for big bass. So definitely give one a try. Number five has got to be one of the oldest and simplest ways of catching fish. A lot of people, I don't know if they can handle it because you gotta slow down a little bit, but that's just a Texas rig lizard. I like to take just the 3 8 ounce bullet sinker and a four aught, five aught, Gap, wide gap hook is what I like to use and just rig it up to where it's just weedless and put a lizard on there a zoom just something simple go out there and just run up and down the banks with those things and you will catch fish points drop-offs brush piles 
just about everywhere you can catch fish on those Texas rigs. And in those muddy water situations with the extra appendages on those lizards, they put off just a little bit more vibration instead of being real subtle like a Senko that has nothing on it. It's just a stick bait with nothing. So definitely give all of these a shot because Muddy water can be difficult sometimes. It can really throw you for a loop, especially that new water. If it's not a natural muddy water place, it can really throw you off sometimes. So definitely think about these lures whenever you're out there. And if you're having trouble with some other lures, give one of these a shot and you just might catch them. But thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.